have heard of how websites and search engines track most of what you do online. Why are you being tracked? Because free services and tools, they're not really free. They simply are monetizing your data. The global digital advertising market represented approximately $677 billion in 2024. So what do you do? One step towards privacy is using private browsing or incognito mode on your browser. But this is not enough. There is a misconception that incognito browsing prevents all tracking. In reality, it only prevents data to be saved locally on your device for future use by that same browser. The websites, network providers, and search engines can still track you. While the term is sometimes used interchangeably with anonymous browsing, they're not the same. Anonymous browsing hides your identity and network address as you visit websites. The activities you do, what's called network traffic, is encrypted and often goes through multiple servers, making it hard to track you. How do you do this? Some browsers specialize in anonymous browsing, such as the well-known Tor or DuckDuckGo browsers. And there are others, such as Brave Browser or Epic Browser. You should note that anonymous browsing can slow down the performance of your connection, but it will offer you enhanced privacy and security. However, like everything else, it needs to be used in conjunction with other protective behaviors, such as using a virtual private network or VPN, no matter which browser tool you use. You can watch a prior Voices of Privacy segment on VPNs. And ensure your computer has security software and that you keep educated about security since anonymous browsing won't protect you from malware, scams, and other online threats.